Hey guys, hey guys, it's Todd from Mountain 66 Diecast. How is everybody? I hope everybody's doing all right. Uh, I got a few car, a few cars to show you. Not, it's not going to be a long video. So, uh, but I wanted to show you some of the new addition, a couple of new additions I got. Obviously, going to start out here with this uh, uh, vintage fi uh, friction truck from the 60s. Uh, I like these old trucks. Uh, these trucks are pretty sweet. And uh, I've got a few of them, but you know, these are eat more fruit. Uh, pretty sweet. I do like these old trucks. Still, all my all my trucks, like I said, they are from the '60s, and all my trucks, except one, the motor's a little stubborn. The rest, all the motors work on them. So they're simple as ABC. They're nothing real. I mean, the truck itself, the, the cabinet, really nothing to look at or write home uh, to mum about. But the it, the box on these with all the different liveries and different advertising and slogans and so forth and so on, I think they're pretty sweet. So I'm hoping to pick up a few more. I like them. They're they're nothing nothing like I say. They're nothing extravagant. But I enjoy them big time. And and again, they're from the '60s, so that makes it even better. <clears throat> oh, pardon me. Alrighty. I'm going to start out with a, a car I just finished, a custom. Did this old Matchbox Land Rover. And I will say I'm happy with this one. Uh, I didn't have anything close to the original color, but I painted this with, I think it's called Blue Harvest uh, uh, Sunset, I believe. Uh... Everything about this truck was sweet. Now I did have to put it in the stripper because I did a fair amount of oh, did a fair amount of body work on this. I found this in the thrift store, so it was rough. And uh, anyway, sat in my garage for I've had this now probably for a year or two, and I'd never done. And then I come across it. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do this because I had some other cars on the go. wasn't really happy with the way they were going. And I attempted this, and I everything original on this. I redone the the luggage and that. I can match that up pretty close to the the original color. But the body, I thought, you know what? I looked at a few on eBay. They were painted silver and stuff like that. And while well, they they did come out in green as well, I thought I'd do something a little different. I do have an original one in my collection. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, pretty interesting little little truck. And I think out of the car, the few cars I've done, eh, the few cars I've done, this one here definitely I think would be in top, my number one. So, oh yes. I did manage to pick this uh, 75 Chevy uh, step side up. This is pretty sweet. Did not have this variation, but this is no doubt about it. It's going to look good in my, uh, my, uh, my truck section here. And, uh, yeah, I think it's a pretty cool little truck here, my friends. Uh, uh, you know, absolutely. Um, I like, I'm not a real, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not a real big flashy or real big graphics type of dude. I think that looks pretty sweet. I don't mind this, I don't mind this, uh, this pattern or color scheme or whatever. Alrighty, my friend. Now we're going to get into the, uh, into the grand finale. Now I won this on auction. Uh, I did I managed to score another transporter. Now I cleaned this up. This was this was pretty dirty, but it came with four cars as well. So uh, I cleaned this up from top to bottom. Um, it was this was dirty. Uh, I might have to give it another once over. But anyway, I do have now two of these. Um, and these are in from the sixties. Now I looked it up. I do have a matchbox, um, uh, uh, book, uh, with all the models. Um, and I, any pictures of these, um, there's no cars with it. So I always was under the assumption <clears throat> and I'm pretty positive. I'll have to double check in that book, but I do believe this was offered at some point with cars and now the now the only thing i did find in the book besides not having well i didn't like i say i didn't see any pictures with the cars but 
the, is the, is the, the decals. They're blue, there's one that's green, and there's another color. So the, the, the truck, through the cup first few years in the 60s, stayed the same other than it was the color of the, of the decals. So, but I didn't have, and again, I'll have to check, but I do believe at some point it's a car carrier. So it had to have come with cars. But anyway, I'll show you the cars now, guys. I came with it. Going to do an old punch buggy. These are all old gray wheels. Now the the the, the rear lot or rear or the 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 trunk here, the the hood here at the back. I guess it would be a hood here. That's where the <laughs> the engine is is broke off here. Now it's too bad because I don't have this I don't have this VW uh, at all. But what I'll do is I'll put it in the on my shelf for the time being. I'll clean it up or. I might just actually put it with the trans, store them right in the transport. That's the way they came. But again, you can see the latch is busted off, and that's that's a darn shame. But alrighty, now these now here's an old Commer pickup truck. Now out of the four, this is the only one I have. Now this is a double now, and uh, you know, so three out of the four I did not have. Amazingly enough. Uh, because I do have a lot of Matchbox, and I really, you guys know, I'm really into the older Matchbox, but I did not, I did, I do have this one, but this is not bad shape. Again, these cars are 55 years old, or, well, at least around there, between 50 and 55, so, say, 56 years or so. So, th these cars are going to have some, some, some issues, there's no doubt, doubt about it. Now here's a Vauxhall Victor. This also came with it. I did not have this one as well. These are a smaller scale than 164. I'm not going to retouch this. I'm not going to repaint. I'm not going to touch any of these cars. Um, so this is the way they came. Now the only thing I am going to do with these is I'm going to clean them up. I did get the car carrier cleaned up as I had indicated a moment ago, but I have not done the cars yet. So Anyway, I thought this is pretty cool. I oh, that darn wheel. I did not have this one as well. And, and, oh yeah, look at that. I could definitely use some oil, but you know what? What's the matter? Hey, holy gee! But you know what? These cars are getting old, and I I'm good with that. Here's a now. This is a Wolseley 1500. And this is the last one. This is this will be the final car here that will close the video, my friends. Look at this little fella here. This is perfect. I think that's what I'll probably do is put these back on, because this car transporter holds four, and and it's gray wheel, so the cars are, I, I'm going to, I keep, you know me, I try to keep it real, try to keep it things as authentic as I possibly can. So the car carrier is is uh, is a gray wheel. Um, I am going to... Um, uh, you know, only put gray wheels on as opposed to, I would never put any, well, first of all, I would never put any matchbox or anything on and, uh, or uh, hot wheels, excuse me, but I would never put any super fast or anything other than gray wheels. But I'm going to put the four on there. Let's see, this is how they came to me. So I think that's probably going to be what I'm going to do, but that just gives you an idea. That's absolutely sweet, man. And I do now have, now this car carrier, really nice shape. This car carrier actually uh, is a little better than the one I have, but anyway, so. Alrighty, now I am going to close out the video, guys, with, I did put up another shelving unit. I did put up another shelving unit here, so. I am going to put another one down here, but um, the behind here, you notice my door is really small. Uh, believe it or not, this is a, behind these walls is an actual homemade uh, bomb shelter. It was built in 1961, but it's now converted to storage. But we left the the size of the door and add on. So, but as I said, I did build. I got to give it another paint paint job, but I'm happy with it right now. And uh, you can see some hubblies here. Here's all my dinkies up there. And there's a couple of old double deckers. Some old dinkies here. Let's see. 
But there's uh, so, some Salito, there's another Dinky there, and there's some Coyotes, there's my Citroen, there's it's a Corgi. There's some old friction cars, you guys have just seen these not too long ago. There's some Salitos, <clears throat> some Argos, Hubblies, those are from the 40s. I restored this one years ago, I regret it now. And uh, this one has not been restored. So then I put my play arts in here. I've got a whole another little section here. I put some cat my Hot Wheels caddies in here. Uh, my kid coos, uh, Zill Maxes. Uh, oh yes, and some more play arts. I got some Hot Wheels and that in here. Some GSI. Just throwing some cars on here. Some all my Vegas. Um, well, there's another bag of right there, Zilmax, but there's all my vets. I'm just putting them up here. I'm going to have to do some rearranging. But anyway, I had to put another, you can see I got to put, I got to repaint it and that. So, but for right now, I just get some cars up off the floor. And so I'm happy with that. And uh, like I say, I have here because I can't, I can't, I can't go past the door here. Um, uh, mama says, ah, no, that's not going to happen here. So we're, we're definitely, uh, we're, oh, yeah, how you doing? We're definitely not going to, um, we're definitely not going to go into the other room there. So my, my wife is very supportive of my collecting and my hobby and that, but she, that's the one rule is, uh, they can't, they can't leave this room. So, so I've got some space now and, uh, I've got some space throughout, see throughout, and and over here, I've got I've got um, an some some room now here, up here as well, so it's coming, and then I'm going to probably do with a lot of these on the floor here. There's a lot in there, my some of my old stuff. I just got them set there. I probably end up going to uh, put a well, put a few up there on the ball on the bulkhead. I'm just gonna have to use like push pins or whatever. So because uh, uh, there's duct work in there, so I'm not gonna definitely put any uh, nails or anything through there. So I think that looks pretty good there. And like I say, gonna put her down here. I didn't this. I know it looks stupid from a distance. It looks kind, of, but there's a bulkhead here, so that's why. It does. This is a different wall. This was all brick and that. So, but it. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. That's gonna primarily hold my bigger cars, and uh, get, kind of get them there. So, alrighty, guys. I hope you enjoyed checking this. Uh, these uh, recent additions and uh, my car room update. I definitely enjoyed uh, sharing them with you as always. Like, comment, or subscribe, and again, uh, keep keep hunting out there, and uh, save me a few on the leave a few on the pegs for me, and uh, we'll uh, we'll talk to you real soon here, my friends, and uh, keep collecting, and thank you for watching.